zone. It's a record that resonates, you know. I, I think it's tough to quantify why it resonates. I think that the topic is relatable to anyone that's um, thinking back on a love or a lost love. or a, And just the chords bring up, you know, emotion. And then you have Jess, which, you know, had a great touch to the record. Soul and Dan, whose voice is phenomenal. <laughs> I started recording just um, not wanting to put any sort of title on it. You know, it's like when you first enter into a relationship with somebody new and you don't want to put the label of boyfriend, girlfriend. You just want to get to know them, have sex, eat breakfast, go to lunch, and just see what happens, man. Just see what happens. That's the same with music. <laughs> My daughter, my family. I get inspired by whatever the production is really. You know, that's what takes me in whatever direction I go. You know, I might hear an electric guitar riff and be like, yeah! I always feel pressure to be the best artist I can be. You know, the heist, I felt pressure after the heist. After this Unruly Mess, I was like, I want to make the best music possible. Um, so there's always a pressure for myself, but not from society. Let me make the best music possible. I want to do all of it, because that, that's that's a spectrum of the human experience. You know, there's moments of darkness, there's moments of light, there's moments of turn up, there's moments of s solemn solitude, of contemplating, of digging deep. Those are all real things that I go through on a you know fairly frequent basis. Man, I'm all over the place. Who am I? We're all trying to figure it out. I just try to figure it out by making songs. You know, I have my, my assistant Keaton over there. He knows that I'm not always positive, but I am reliable. 